Hello, it's me Ashley and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today guys, I have actually got for you a birch box unboxing. It's in here, I'm gonna show you what I've got. So yes, I've got another birch box unboxing for you guys. I know I kind of canceled my subscription, but basically I was sat on holiday Yes, that's probably why I've got a bit more tan about me and a hell of a lot more freckles. Um, but I sat on holiday flicking through my Instagram, I think it was, and basically I saw this month's box design and I thought it looked really pretty. And they said that every box got a Benefit product and I absolutely love Benefit. So I was kind of like, yes, I'm going to give it another try. Now, it might have been the cocktail that I was drinking that made me make that decision because basically the reason I stopped Birchbox was because I had a heck of a lot of stuff still to get through and I have been making my way through a lot of that stuff but yeah I've still got a pile <laughs> but anyway decisions were made and I decided to subscribe to Birchbox again now I'll see what this box is like as to whether I think it's like wow and I'm gonna get another one or I might just cancel it after this one and pick it up at a later date or try another subscription box next time I want to try such a thing um, so it is in a bigger box this time because when you subscribe to Birchbox, you've got a choice, I think, basically. You could have an eyeshadow palette or a Lottie London mascara and a Lock eyeshadow pencil or something or whatever. Um, I went for the eyeshadow palette because apparently I don't have enough of those. Um, but basically, I'm happy with my mascaras I've got and, you know, so I went for the palette. So that's why it's in a bigger box this time. Um, but yeah, so let's open it. Let's see what we think. Hopefully it's a good box. Like I said, it's a really pretty box. So I did see the box design and I know that we get a benefit product in here. And I know that it actually asked me to choose between two different highlighter shades. So there's a highlighter in here also. I believe the theme is crystals. Anyway, let's get this open somehow and I'll show you what I've got. <clears throat> okay then, so firstly, this is the free eyeshadow palette that I got and it's by the Beauty Crop and it's Expresso Yourself is the name of the palette. And it's um, said it's inspired by our favorite hug in a mug. So it's inspired by coffee. And in here we get quite a lot, I believe. They're on the back. Just show you a little example. So there are seven going across, three down. So that means there's 21 eyeshadows in here. I'm good at maths. <laughs> and they all look to be coffee themed. So I'll open this up and have a little look show you guys what it looks like if i can get it open a lot of my nails broke on holiday and they weren't the best to start with <sighs> must have made boxes so hard to get into so tightly packed oh my god i <laughs> genuinely can't get it out Yeah, I'm going to cut it open because that's annoying me. I mean, I always try to keep these eyeshadow boxes, but who really needs these boxes that the palettes come in? Okay, and here it is. The palette itself, which is also sealed. So really, it's pretty enough that it doesn't actually need an outside box, I don't think. Oh, God. Okay, so let's take the little seals off of that. Um what it looks like oh oh it's actually that bit that's okay okay so they're all very neutral because they're coffee themed pop the box off there. and i think that they are all really pretty actually they're fairly small sizes of each color but like i say because they're like a nice neutral themed shade range I think that you'll get a lot of uses out of them. I don't know about the quality of them or anything, but if anybody's interested, I can always do a little video swatching this if anybody wants me to give them a try because I've not actually had anything from this brand before. And to be honest, apart from Birchbox, I haven't actually seen anything from them that I'm aware of anyway. So yeah, if anybody wants me to give them a little try, I will do so. I don't need to put it back in there. Okay, so now let's move on to the reason that we came here. It's for this month's Birch Box. So it's the April Birch Box. Let's speed through me opening this up. And we're in. So this is this month's design. It's like a beautiful marble effect. 
It has um, like beautiful golds, blues, purples, pinks. Um, it's got a shiny birch box. And I think it's just really, really pretty. If you look all the way around, the pattern goes, and it's just a really, really nice. I think I really like the color scheme of this month's box. And the design this month is a little bit different. I believe it's kind of like almost jewelry box inspired, so you can flip it up and there's a mirror in there. So let's open it up together and see what we can see. And uh, yeah, okay. So yeah, it's got like a little magnetic flap. So that's nice. And inside then, yes, it's got the mirror. It's got a cover over it, so it hopefully shouldn't blind you too much. Um, so it's a really nice design for this month's box. It's super useful. I have actually kept some of the boxes that I've used and I've actually taken away with me, like jewellery and things in there. So that's a really useful um, thing to be able to do. So I think it's really nice. It'll look nice on like a dressing table. You can keep jewellery and keep makeup in it. Like I say, I have taken a couple of boxes before on holiday with things inside. Just kind of easy to pop that in rather than like taking a big jewellery box or whatever. But anyway, that's just what I've done before. So let's have a look at this month's leaflet and we will see what it says. So it says, you're a gem. So I'm guessing that's the April theme. And inside it says, oh, what's inside? You usually get a little write up, do you? Oh yeah, sorry, you do. <laughs> so it says, hello, birch boxes. April marks the start of a new season and a chance to embrace a whole lot of spring positivity. Whether you believe in the healing power of crystals or not, we love this feel-good vibes that they represent. And it doesn't hurt to say that they're beautiful too. So all month long we'll be reflecting the sparkle that exude naturality. Naturally, I'm sorry. Why? Because you're a gem, of course. See what they did there. And in here, there's the products we're gonna get. So I will take them out of the box and show you one by one. So the first thing that we get in this box then is the highlighter that I got to choose from. And you could choose between two different colors, lit and afterglow. One was more goldy, one was more pinky. I actually went for the more goldy one because I know I was gonna be getting a bit of a tan, hopefully. And yeah, so I thought the gold one would look really nice. So it says, this silky smooth powder, oh my God, I probably broke it. <laughs> sure it's fine. So, this silky smooth powder brightens and highlights the skin in a single sweep, blending seamlessly and smoothly to give cheekbones, brow bones and eyes just the right glow. It's big technology creates a sheer light texture for delicate looking buildable radiance, trust us. So it comes in a nice little box. It's obviously made in partnership with Birchbox. And inside is our little highlighter pot. And open it up and you can see, obviously I have the gold one. So if I just give that a little sweep on my hand. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but there's definitely some kind of um, shimmeriness to that and it's yeah it's subtle but it's really pretty so i think that actually that will look really nice on the face for a nice subtle glow really nice okay so this is a full size product and it retails at 10 pounds so that's the price of the box already in there now whether you would pay 10 pounds for highlighter i don't know i use the soft revolution palette mostly um, which cost £10, or the Sleek Solstice palette and my go-to highlighters, and they they are both like under £10. I think the Sleek one's £10, and I think the Soft one's actually £8. Um, so, you know, it's up to you how, what you pay for your beauty products. The next item then is the benefit product that we get, and it is the Porefessional. Now, I do love the Porefessional, I really, really do, but the sample size of these are usually quite small. Does it say what we get? Yeah, so three mils in here. It's not the biggest sample. Um, I really, really do love Porefessional, I do. But, you know, I kind of do feel a little duped that one of the main reasons I got this was because there was a benefit product inside. And 
it's professional, which is really nice, but we've had like the Benefit blush before, and you can get so many uses out of that. And we've had like the little mini mascaras, which is super useful. Um, I do love the professional, don't get me wrong, but yeah, I was kind of half hoping for something a little bit more, I don't know, exciting, something more useful. Like with it being the theme of crystals, I was kind of half expecting it to be like maybe the high beam or something highlightery, but never mind. Happy with professional, it will come into use. I absolutely adore the smell of professional, really, really do. Anyway, the write up then on this says, this silky oil-free primer diffuses pores and fine lines for an airbrushed finish. I am actually wearing the uh, Pearl Professional today. You know, I'm not whinging about it. Like I say, I do genuinely really like the product. Anyway, whilst keeping your makeup in place, it goes on sheer, leaving skin instantly even and smooth. No wonder it's the UK's number one bestseller. Use it under makeup or dab it over the top for midday touch-ups. Um, yes, so like I say, I really do like the professional range. I wasn't whinging. I just, I know that it's a smaller kind of product, but it will come in super useful. I will definitely be using it. Like I say, I am wearing the Pearl Professional today. So, nice product, a little small, but that's fine. So at full size, it retails at 28 pounds, but this is a fraction of the size of that one. The next item then is this. It's really pretty holographic packaging. I love anything hollow. And it's full size, which it'd have to be, I'm guessing, given what it seems to be. And it retails at £4.99. And it's diamond iPads, apparently. So it says, whether it's Netflix fueled nights or a tiring commute, chances are your eyes could do with some TLC. Enter this all-star blend of diamond power, yes really, and caffeine to hydrate, brighten and depuff. Apply a pad under each eye and relax for 10 to 15 minutes and voila. Sorry, I think I'm in a sore throat so I don't know if my voice is sounding the best today. Um, so it brightens and depuffs with real diamond and caffeine extracts. Um, so yeah, the packaging looks super pretty, made with real diamonds. So that's fancy, it's from Korea. Korean skincare's on the up, so yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that. Okay, the next item in our box then is this Humankind Body Souffle. Is it Human and Kind? Human and Kind, sorry, or Human Plus Kind. Um, I haven't actually heard of this brand before. The packaging is really pretty. So it says, this lightly whipped cream makes nourishing your body feel like a luxurious task. Massage in the velvety and uber moisturising ingredients, aloe vera and a multitude of botanical oils to leave your limbs softer than ever with a seriously healthy sheen. Okay, so at full size, this would retail at £16.45. It doesn't tell you how much a super size, uh, sorry, a full size is, but in here we get 30 mils. Um, okay, so let's just have a little feel of what that's like. Okay, I was expecting it to be a lot richer than what it is, but it, ooh, it smells nice. Yes, I was expecting it to be a lot richer than what it actually is, but that has dried in super quickly, which I love from a moisturizer, because you don't want to wait for ages before you can like put your clothes on. Yeah, it's dried in super quick, so brilliant. Yeah, looking forward to trying that then. So the last item then that we get in our box is this beaver cherry blossom conditioner so it's obviously for your hair and it's not a full size item but a full size it would retail at 19 pounds and 40 pence again it doesn't actually tell you how much a full size you get in there but this one is 40 mils so the little write-up on this says it can be tough to find a conditioner that takes your hair from flat to full without weighing it down but this one has changed the game this strengthening, balancing and tangle fighting formula will nourish and revitalise your hair whilst adding oomph and shine. So it definitely sounds nice. Again, the proof is in the trying, but it sounds very promising. It's got cherry blossom in it. pH of 4.5 to 5.5. Yeah, so that sounds like really nice. 
Okay, so also in our box then, at the bottom, we have got a voucher for Monica Venada uh, jewellery. I believe that in so many birch boxes this month, there was a chance to win a voucher to actually get like £400 worth of jewellery or something like that, which is really nice. But this one, we have £15 off. I'm guessing there'll probably be like a minimum spend on there. Don't think it says. Oh, no minimum spend required. But I don't know what what price the prices start at. I doubt it's £15. But I might have a little look. So I guess also this month, uh, they actually had lots of little pretty pink packing bits in there, which is cute. This would make actually, I suppose, a nice little gift if you wanted to fill it with bits and bobs. Or if you get in the birch box for somebody, it's a really nice little gift. So yeah, I think this month's box is absolutely stunning. Now the products. Highlighter, it seems really nice. It's quite subtle, but it's actually stayed on there quite nicely, even though I've put like hand cream and things on there. I think it'll be a nice one to try. If I was to pay 10 pounds for the full thing, I'm not sure I'd be so happy. Like I say, my go-to tends to be the soft palette, which is eight pounds for eight highlighters. Probably about a similar size, really. Um, and I really like that. But this looks really nice, so I'm happy to try it. Professional is a product that I love. It's a small size. But it's a good product, so at least we know it's definitely worth trying and using, and I will definitely use that one. The next thing we got was the iPads, which, you know me, I do a First Nose Friday every week, I do love a bit of pampering, and the holographic packaging is very me, so yes, looking forward to trying those. The Body Souffle felt really nice, I can't believe how quickly this dried in, so I'm actually looking forward to trying that like on my body, um yeah so that one sounds really nice and the cherry blossom hair conditioner it sounds really nice sounds promising hopefully it'll be just as good when i use it so a nice little bunch of products nothing overwhelming but a really nice little bunch of products so yeah i'm happy with those however i don't think i'm gonna keep up my subscription because like I said, the main reason that I stopped my subscription was because I was getting a build up of products that I wasn't using some of them, I was using some of them, I was getting them stack and yeah, I'll probably use everything I've got there, but nothing's made me go, ooh, I really must keep Birchbox. <laughs> and the sneak peek for next month then, we'll look at that, it might change my mind. The sneak peek then for May, it will be May, oh my god, are we that far through the year? Right, the sneak peek for May is a Lord and Berry treat. You can either get an ultimate lip liner, which is a blendable lip pencil in vintage rose, or a line and shade eye pencil in black. Yeah, neither of those make me go, ooh, really must get that box. So yes, I'm really excited. I am so glad I got this month's box. I think that the box is super pretty. I think I'll actually use all of the products. I think that they will definitely come in handy. But unfortunately, yes, I will be keeping it up again. I think I made the right decision in not keeping it. I think dipping in just for one month was a good decision. I'm happy with everything that I've got this month. But like I say, I'm not like that blown away that I wanna carry it on again. But that's not to say that I won't in the future. I do really enjoy, you know, getting some surprises every month. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm sorry I won't be keeping it up. But you know, if there's any other subscription boxes or anything you want to recommend, let me know and I might well keep them. Might well keep them. I might well try them. <laughs> anyway, that's it. So as ever, if you've liked the video, then please hit that like button and give me a huge thumbs up. And remember to subscribe if you haven't already because it'll be fantastic to have you here. And until my next video, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.